Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we've got a brand new video from Stevie T. Hi. It's called Never Watch Kids Shows in Reverse and in brackets. It says creepy. Can't wait for this. Let's check it out. Never watch kids' shows in reverse. This I've got to see. What is it with kids' shows? Honestly, though, kids' shows have this weird, <laughs> innate, <laughs> ominous feel to them, and I, I can't even describe it. Like, have you ever seen the Teletubbies? Like, what kind of cracky McOnion soup do you got to be on to write that show? <laughs> or, or a full episode yes. of Sesame Street? That, that there where the, 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 um, was tickling his bum, that become a meme. For like um people who want to do that to people. <laughs> McOnion soup you gotta be on to write that show. <laughs> or or a full episode of Sesame Street? Kids shows are just creepy. But have yes. you ever seen a kid's show in reverse? Uh, yeah, that'll be enough to give anyone a serious case of the creepy doodle sandwiches. First show we're looking at here today is Sesame Street. Right, okay. They've been creeping kids out for decades now, myself included. I mean, this is why I go to therapy. And we all know the famous Sesame Street theme song, but if you play that back- I don't think therapy's working for Stevie T, considering what some of his videos are like. <laughs> this is why I go to therapy. And we all know the famous Sesame Street theme song, but if you play that backwards, apparently these are the subliminal messages you get. Let me play what? <laughs> I'm stunned. <laughs> He's watching us and Satan. What? <laughs> Let me play what? <laughs> Okay, that was creepy. Yes. That really was. <laughs> like, play what? <laughs> Satanic games? <laughs> ah, I'm always very particular when it comes to the Satanic messages. Let's focus on the Hail Satan part. <laughs> oh, that was more like... Like talking without closing your mouth completely. <laughs> All right, look, this video is implying that Sesame Street is hiding these satanic messages, but we have a way to test this. First, I'm going to sing the backwards lyrics. Please let me play that. Let me play. He's watching us. Hail Satan is real. Okay. I think that was pretty good. Okay. <laughs> so now we're gonna take the backwards message and reverse it, give a reversal to the reverse. And now we should get <laughs> the original lyrics. Right, let's, <laughs> let's hear it. <laughs> it's the tune. But it's not the words. <laughs> oh, this is funny. <laughs> I'm not, I did not get a word out of that one. <laughs> I can agree with that. <laughs> this is absolutely ridiculous. We are not getting the original lyrics at all. Sesame Street may be creepy as hell, but these messages were not intentional. What is it with the classic kids shows? It's no wonder my generation's screwed. I've already covered the Barney theme song in a separate video, but apparently you get hidden messages when you play I Love You by Barney. Oh my God. Oh my god. The amount of 
people he's gonna piss off with his, these songs. <laughs> Video, but apparently you get hidden messages when you play I Love You by Barney backwards. <laughs> we all remember this song. I love you. You love me. <laughs> Satan loved we, the we. <laughs> All right, I'm getting a lot of mixed messages in there. One second, Barney's like, I love Jesus. And the next minute he's like, yeah, we smoke. Satan's love, dead real. <laughs> like, what? Maybe this is why Barney's extinct. He couldn't decide between Jesus and Satan and smoking. Like, we go from that to... <laughs> we is in our Satan? What does that even mean? <laughs> I love that line, dead real. Yeah, Barney, <laughs> man, straight up love, man. Dead real. Is that is that something that Gen Zers say? <laughs> All right, so right off the bat, this one is so dumb, so many mixed up messages. I'm sure it's not real, but let's still test it. I'll <laughs> sing the backwards message, see what we get. Jesus found me, yes, we smoke. We is in our Satan and love him. Share with him. We first shared God's love dead real. He loved we. We loved lamb. God. Oh, God. He's killing me. Loved we. Oh. We loved lamb. God, that's dumb. But anyways, we'll reverse that. And see if we get the original lyrics. My 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 It's like somebody singing Barney after having a stroke. That's what it sounds like. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, I'm still saying life says What? Mouth ball, mouth ball, Yeah, say that to your wife later. Oh, sorry, babe. That means I love you in Barney. <laughs> if anyone thinks this is real, they're smoking more crack than Barney. All right, this next one was a- He's gotta get one. He's gotta get one that's actual facts. Come on. Science class staple. I'm talking Bill, 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 Bill Nye. If you don't know about Bill Nye and his theme song, no, you no. are deeply deprived. <laughs> Yeah, we all know, know this one. But apparently, Bill Nye is even hiding subliminal messages. Let's see the Bill Nye theme in reverse. <laughs> Lars, this house is ugly. He's gonna have a field day with Metallica. He's already done a Metallica video. Theme in reverse. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Got, this house is he has got to mention Metallica on that one. He's got to. <laughs> what? <laughs> Lars, this house is ugly. What? Lars Ulrich from Metallica? <laughs> Lars, this house is ugly. Is that what Lars's wife said to him when they were looking for a house? <laughs> I did not know Bill Nye the Science Guy backwards was Lars. This house is ugly. Never would have guessed that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I kind of hear it. Or maybe I just want to hear it. I mean, I know Lars Ulrich is into, like, uh, weird art and stuff, so maybe his <laughs> house is ugly. <laughs> Let's sing it and see what we get. Lars, this house is ugly. Help, 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 help. Lars, the 
this house is ugly. And we'll give it the reverse kutuka. All right, let's see if we get the original theme song. Come on. He goes a slice of draw. Here goes the sarsazar. Here goes the sarsazar. That middle section though just sounded like I was getting punched repeatedly in the stomach. I was really hoping that was we were gonna get Bill Nye, but Bill Nye is apparently Hill Sauce. Hill Sauce the sarsazar. Didn't you love it when you were in science class and the teacher pulled in the TV and was like, Today, kids, we're gonna watch Hill he Sauce the Sarpazar. Tell you one thing. Stevie T is the best at milking a line, milking something that's like over and over and over again by sticking memes in there, doing something or another scenario just to keep emphasizing the same point over and over. And it's funny. It's, it's funny. Thing though, Lars's house is still ugly. Does anyone remember Caillou? No. Oh, you know the uh, little bald-headed little turd. And apparently Caillou, <laughs> innocent little Caillou, is hiding subliminal messages in his theme song. Okay. All right, let's hear the theme song normally because I don't know it. Caillou, 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 I'm Caillou. That's me. <laughs> Of a crap. It's like half cartoon, half film. <laughs> and me, and me, and me. <laughs> kind of a crappy theme song. Kind of a crappy oh. kid. But if you play that backwards, you apparently get this. Oh, you're D's nuts and booyah. Come on. He's got to get one of these, surely. Booyah. Oh, <laughs> you're telling me the Caillou theme song backwards is D's nuts. Booyah. <laughs> oh, that is such a Caillou thing to do. What a little twerp. Booyah. Booyah. <laughs> booyah. Booyah. It's not booyah. It's booyah. Okay. D's nuts. <laughs> booyah. <laughs> this show sucks. D's nuts. <laughs> the little, the little uh, voices like dead creepy, like um, like um, uh, like when they have a horror film with with the kids' voice in it. <laughs> I mean, it's not that clear, but it's still hilarious. D's nuts are not clear. Go but on. let's give them the vocal test Go anyways on. and see what we get. D's nuts! D's nuts! D's nuts! Booyah! <laughs> Booyah! <laughs> Booyah! I added the last part, but the rest of it should be okay. Oh, it'd be funny if it, if that last part actually made a word. Now that'd be so funny. <laughs> I added the last part, but the rest of it should be okay. All right, we'll give Caillou the little flippity flopping. <laughs> Let's see what we get. <laughs> That's what I do when I'm in the bathtub. I go, ah, sunsy, sunsy, sunsy. Hi, you. Hi, you. Hi, you. <laughs> Not getting Caillou at all. Hi, you. Hi, you. Caillou. Unfortunately, this the means that Caillou did not hide this message intentionally, but he was definitely dropped on his head as a child. <laughs> right, this next one is a classic Spider-Man. Ah, Spider-Man. How cool is Spider-Man? Every single incarnation of Spider-Man is cool. As a child. Right, this next one is a classic 
Spider-Man. Okay. And now, even if you've never heard the Spider-Man theme song, we all know it goes Spider-Man, Spider-Man, friendly neighborhood spider individual, or something like that. But what ominous messages lie beneath when you play that backwards? Okay. <laughs> hammer golfs? <laughs> hammer golfs. You're telling me Spider Man backwards is hammer golfs? Who will save us? How about hammer golfs? <laughs> I thought you might have done um, croquet because you'd use the hammer to hit a ball, don't you? Like, who will save us? Hoops. How about hammer golfs? <laughs> what the hell is a hammer golf? <laughs> Finish going. <laughs> Sugar really do be anywhere though. <laughs> like honestly. I am hearing hammer golfs though. We need to find out what hammer golfs really means. Whose show is this Finnish guy? Enjoy this heat. Never go hammer golf sugar be anywhere <laughs> hammer golfs hammer golfs I could sing about hammer golfs all day. That's probably one of my favorite sports All right, so we'll take that and give it the flippy doodles. All right. Do we get spider-man? Spider-man spider-man Hey, we neighbor good spider-man Spider-man is an ocean says it was you no, no. He was getting it at the beginning. He was getting it at the beginning. It was very, very close, and it just went somewhere else. No, no, no. Who the hell is Slugger Man? Who the hell is Slugger Man? Slugger Man. Slugger Man. No one wants Slugger Man. Slugger Man. Slugger Man. We neighborhood slugger man. That almost sounded, sounded like friendly neighborhood though. Yes. We neighborhood. Nope. No, it didn't. Nope. <laughs> friendly neighborhood. <laughs> All right. One last one. Are you ready, kids? Oh no! He's gonna go in on SpongeBob. <coughs> he's got C. What I said to him about about in milking situations. He's in the house, the ugly house with Lars. <laughs> He's milked, he's come back to it. <laughs> Alright, one last one. Are you oh, ready, a kids? Up under the sea. Hi, I can't hear you! <laughs> SpongeBob SquarePants. Wow. But apparently, this is what you get when you play his theme song backwards. <laughs> Snow froze Bob's nuts. What? <laughs> Taking it back. I'm backwards. <laughs> what? <laughs> Squidward sniffs balls and smokes dope and shits on the boat. What? <laughs> what? What the hell? <laughs> okay, that was a, that was a lot to take in. I don't know which line I like the best. Squidward smokes dope. No, maybe he should. <laughs> on your boat, you medical heart. <laughs> <laughs> medical heart? Uh, That's quite the insult. Oh, screw you, you medical heart. Hmm. That was oddly clear, though. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I heard it, though. I heard it. <laughs> oh, we gotta test this. Yeah. Squidward smokes dope. 
pooping on your boat, you medical heart. Squidward smokes dope. Show me your pussy, you son of a b <laughs> Squidward smokes dope. Give it a little flippy. Let's see if we get the original. Oh, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm not ready for this. I'm not. I am. I am ready. I'm not ready, but I am. Oh, my head is hurting. This last one has been the funniest out of the lot. SpongeBob theme song. SpongeBob Square Nukes. <laughs> what? That was very angry and very incoherent. <laughs> Shave Liberace, you suffer emotion. <laughs> I give up. I cannot get anything out of that. No. So SpongeBob is not hiding subliminal messages either. No, but the subliminal messages that you pulled out of that SpongeBob going backwards was absolutely fantastic. Cannot oh. get anything out of that. So SpongeBob is not hiding subliminal messages either. <laughs> and that is the last time I shave Liberace. <laughs> Well, thank you guys so much for joining me. I, I appreciate your viewership so uh, much. I have so much fun with these, and I hope you guys do too. Hit up the so comment funny. section and let me know which one you liked best because I genuinely like to know what you guys think. <laughs> and as always, remember you guys are appreciated, and I love you guys. Okay, you can go now. Bye. <laughs> I knew Lars was going back there. Listen, guys, if you have not subscribed to Steve Terry Berry, give him a subscription because he is the funniest guy on YouTube. I mean, some of the stuff he pulled out of there was absolutely genius. I love the fact that he kept going back to Lars because Lars is the person he takes the piss out of the most in um, the Metallica um, video that he did, which is how, like, how to be Metallica and what have you. This was, the, especially the SpongeBob, was the... Was probably one of the funniest things I've seen from this guy <sighs> my head hurts my jaw hurts my eyes are leaking I am absolutely finished <laughs> I'm dead <laughs> oh god if you like this video or any of the videos on the channel then please hit like and subscribe and I shall see you all on the next video